Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create this raining matrix code animation in PowerPoint. Let's go! Before we get started, let me introduce to you this new join button that recently appeared on my channel. If you enjoy my tutorials and would like to support one skill channel, you could join the PowerPoint Hero membership. You will receive a loyalty badge that will appear next to your name in comments and live chat. Additionally, you'll be able to use custom emoji in comments and live chat. That's super duper awesome. What's more, you'll be able to read all of the member-only posts in the community tab. Here I usually post behind the scene shots and sneak peeks of my upcoming videos. So thank you very much if you choose to join the OneSkill channel membership and thank you to all of my students on Udemy and Skillshare and to all of my friends on Patreon. Now let's continue with the video. Alright, so let's jump into PowerPoint. In this video I'm using PowerPoint Office 365 on Windows. By the way, if you are a long-time subscriber, you might remember this video with flying coffee beans and matrix code animation from 2017. In that video, we were focusing more on the parallax effect and I haven't covered the matrix animation. And recently, one of my viewers reminded me about this matrix animation. So huge thanks to you and now let's continue with the tutorial. Okay, so first of all, let's make sure that we have all of the panes that we need open and ready. I'm using selection pane, animation pane and format pane. And now let's make our slide background black. So let's go to fill options, let's choose solid fill and let's choose black color. That's super duper awesome. Now let's go to insert and let's choose text box. Let's click anywhere on the slide. For this text box, I'm using a special font called matrix code. Link is in the video description, font size 32 and font color white. Now let's just insert a couple of symbols, choose any letters or numbers that you want and hit enter each time. That's good. Now we can center align this text box and let's actually bring it to the top of the slide just like that. And let's add a few more symbols so that this column of code has the same height as the whole slide. That's beautiful. And currently in the selection pane we should see only one object that is our text box with code. That's good. Now let's go to insert shapes and let's choose a rectangle. Let's draw a full screen rectangle that covers the whole slide. That's good. We can leave it blue for now. Let's make sure we send this rectangle to back. That's good. And now let's select the rectangle, hold down the shift key, select the text box. Let's go to merge shapes and let's choose subtract. And now we have basically punched some holes inside of this blue rectangle and we can see the dark slide background. Let me show you to you how it looks like on the white background so that you can see it better. All right. Now once again, let's jump to insert shapes and let's choose the rectangle tool. And this time let's draw a smaller rectangle that covers our code just like this. Let's make sure that we center align this smaller rectangle. Let's remove the outlines and for the fill, let's choose a bright green color. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. By the way, you can always go to the selection pane and rename your objects so that you know easily which objects is which. And later on I'll show you how we can make this green rectangle move with the help of the animations. That's super duper awesome. And for now let's bring this green rectangle to front. We'll be adding a gradient fill to this guy. So let's go to format pane and let's choose gradient fill. Let's make sure that we leave only two color stops. Let's remove the rest of them. And for these two color stops, let's use the same bright green color. Super duper awesome. And for the first color stop, let's uh, slide the transparency slider to 100%. That's good. And for the second color stop, let's move it to position 85%. That's awesome. Now let's add one more color stop here at the right edge and let's make it white. And now we can jump to selection pane and send this green rectangle behind the blue rectangle. Now I think it's a perfect time to make this blue rectangle black because, uh, you know, we're making some green raining code in the black background. And now with the animations, we will make this code rain down just like this. And before that, let's make sure that our green rectangle is positioned correctly. Let's make sure that the top of the green rectangle touches the bottom edge of the slide, just like that. And now let's go to animations and let's select this fly-in animation. And for the direction, let's pick from top. That's good. For the animation duration, we can insert 3 seconds. That's awesome. 
And now on the animation pane we should see our flying animation. That's awesome, let's check it out on the full screen. Skadoosh ladies and gentlemen, congratulations on your first reigning matrix code animation. By the way in the effect options and the timing settings you can set this uh, animation to repeat until the end of slide. You can make it start with previous and this way this reigning code animation will start automatically and repeat itself until you hit escape. That would be a nice screensaver I guess. All right. And now that you know how to create and animate one line of code, you can take it to the next level, insert a bunch of text boxes, insert a bunch of green rectangles, and it's pretty much the same procedure. Once you're done inserting all of the text boxes, make sure you select them all, and go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes, and choose Union, so that all of these text boxes become one shape. And after that, we would have to insert a full screen rectangle, as before. Let's make sure that it covers the whole slide. Let's bring those columns of code to front, that's good. Now select the rectangle, select the code lines and go to merge shapes and choose subtract. Now we should have all of the shapes that we need for the animation. And for this full screen rectangle, let's make it black without any outlines, that's good. And as always in the selection pane, you can rename your objects to anything that you want. Alright, and this is how our animation looks like. As you can see, all of these animations are starting at the same time. And if you would like to add some variation, you could add some delays. Just select some of these animations in the selection pane and drag them a little bit to the right side. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Congratulations ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can create raining matrix code animation in PowerPoint. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.